the amount of oxygen we got going on in there. Oh, you see how they were able to attack the food? Just got tilapia on my face. I love that fish, man. Run, run, run. Crazy, right? Look how big he is already. We try to do this for you guys, but it's very difficult when you have a big baby here, a big baby there, a big baby in front of the screen. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Right now, <laughs> it's the end of it, okay? We have this whole section to feed. We already did chapter one, chapter two, with all, chapter two with all the fish that we have in stock. This is chapter three. If you wanna see all the chapters, check out the description below. I will put them in there for you. But we do have a lot of fish in stock. We just finished the last video feeding all these guys. And now we're gonna keep going on this roll. Right here we have a phase two, I'll say two and a half luteus, right? He likes to eat meaty foods. So we put the tilapia in there. And then once we turn the light off, he'll go for it. This right here are the less of the parrots that we have. And if you miss chapter one and two, basically what we're doing today, we have a mix of foods, okay? We have bloodworm, mice shrimp, and uh, plankton, okay? And mix it all up. This is some tilapia. And I put medicine on both of these foods. Why do I put a medicine? Because once a week I like to treat, especially when we have new fish come in, this, the, the mix that we put in here has antibacterial and for internal parasites as well. So like for example, hole in the head, they start eating this stuff, not nah, maybe a month, they'll clear up, no problem. And this is a mix that uh, Kevin and I came up with. So let's go ahead, feed some of these guys. And I only do this once a week. Majority of the week, we're feeding pellets, like for the fish that can eat pellets. But for fish like, like for example, these phantoms, they're always eating either shrimp, tilapia, smelts, all the meaty foods that they need to uh, be healthy. Look over here, babe, real quick. This is a flamingo bike. Look how pretty that one looks. Nice yellow squares on top. It's acclimating really well. So I'll put some of the, the tilapia in there and then we have a group of big rip saws. These guys are growing by the day and I will put some of this mix in there for them as well. Even though they can just pretty much eat anything. It's the, the local melon. Yeah. Look at that. No time that's gonna be all gone. They're good size. Some of them are like 12 inches. I actually wanna take two of them for myself to grow them out. Okay, up above we got a group of the uh, yellow flag tails. So there's red flag tail and yellow flag tail. This is the yellow ones. Can you tank? You're always on the way, my love. Always on the way. It's not for you. These guys came in a little bit weak, so we're gonna power feed them and get them fully held 100% before we can ship them out. Over here is the group of reticulatum red belly. Super dollars, they get really nice when they grow. This is what we have left. So I'll put some of this mix in there and that lacustre pike as well, look at that. It almost looks like a snakehead. Awesome fish. We're almost done, babe. We're almost done. We only have like 100 more tanks to go. <laughs> Here is that Kappa Petrum. And I showed the Kappa Petrums already that we have that came in. This guy is a bigger one. It's from one of my clients. He actually bought it from another store as a Pure Iba. Oh but it's a couple of petrum. Still beautiful animal though. And there he goes. Yo, don't play with your food, bro. Swallow it. Out. Swallow it. You're saving it for later. Okay. Up there we have 
pretty much the albino arrows already sold. The three Lucistic Tambaquis I'm keeping. So I have the translucent short body and the golden Simadonnas in the back. But regardless if they're sold or not, we got to keep everybody healthy. So let me feed them. Gotta keep the lid on so they're one that doesn't jump out. These guys might be a little bit until they find the food. This whole wall, I gotta fix the, the lighting system because a few of them just stopped working. Home Depot lights. More work, more work. So. That group of cover petrol right there to the bottom left, we already fed them. Now we're gonna feed these guys. Same thing, so this is chopped up tilapia with medicine. And let's see if they'll eat. Oh yeah. Okay, so just like any other type of catfish, once they start smelling it, they'll go for it. Now down below we have a really nice group of tigrinas all over six inches these guys are doing amazing they prefer shrimp but i'm gonna put some of this food in there and hopefully they'll get it oh look right here they're eating on the back that guy over there ate i have a power head pushing the food so they might have to like move around and and find them yeah, that's good. They're, they're gonna eat, they're gonna eat. We're gonna walk back and all this is gonna be gone. I already see them eating, so that's a good sign. Okay, this is a, 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 a tank full of Altamangium. The true Altamangium just came in. Now the water's a little brown because I wanted to mimic their water and I put uh, tenny in this water, but a slow, every time we do a water change, we make it lower and lower. This way we acclimate them slow. So by the time they're ready to ship, the water is gonna be just like all the other water we have here. But they're a little shy at first, so let's see if they smell the food. Oh, oh, they're starting to come around. They're eating. Yeah, once we, once we walk away, these guys will eat. Good. All right. They're beautiful, though. And these get big. These are like bigger than a hand size. I mean, some of them already like, look at that guy. Look how big he is. Okay, down below is just a bunch of feeder fish that we use for the payaras. But you know what? Like I was saying on chapter one, I want to feed this medicine to the payaras, but the payaras won't eat this. So what do I do? I feed their feeder fish and the feeder fish will be full of medicine and nutrients. And then therefore the payara will as well. So even the feeder fish gets taken care of here. <laughs> Fine dining. It's crazy. Fine dining, then you become the dining. Or you become the dinner. Yeah. Now, these little monsters, these, <laughs> these guys will eat anything. Literally anything. I'm gonna put a, sure albino, pop albino pop. Just put a whole big scoop in there. And then you see them go for it. Look at that. Cool, right? It's like a Christmas tree going up. I missed the big one I had. Maybe we should take a few of these guys and grow them out. We always say that. I know. Awesome fish, though. They're doing so nice in ponds. So, guys, make sure if you're buying a Paku, even though they're little, these things will get monster size. It'll take years, but we'll get to monster size. So, make sure you have like a pool pond or uh, an outside pond that you can just put them in and not have to rely on people rescuing your fish. Look at that guy. Damn, he's, a, he's a, the, the Hercules yeah. of this crew. Maybe I'll grow him out. Yeah, Alright, so these are the Azuls, the wild caught Azuls and Calberries. Azuls. Sometimes they eat frozen, sometimes they don't. Hopefully they'll eat this. Oh, there you go.
All right, that's a good sign. Down here, we haven't put them on the website yet. These are the little zebra parrots, and I guess the white ones, they're called princess, little princess. So we're gonna take care of them today. We're gonna treat the princess like princes, you know? Some of them have reddish. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And they breed like crazy too. Okay, last two tanks on the right. So these guys came in from Malaysia. These are the tiger pigeon snake skin discus. And they're all doing very well. But it might be a little shy at first. Let's see. They're eating pellets really good. The, those little vibra bites. So let's see. They might, yeah, they're eating. Just a little slower. Okay, and on the top, we have no light, of course, but we do have the golden sunrise, which is the yellow one. Look how nice the tiger turquoise is. They're beautiful fish. And the uh, super red melon. So we got three species in there. Let's get the food in and leave them alone so they can enjoy. Oh wow, these guys are eating a lot faster, huh? Okay. We're almost there, we're almost there. These right here are the group of giraffe catfish. <laughs> and they're all just growing like crazy. Watch. They come in groups, look at that. It's a whole wall of <laughs> giraffe catfish. They're awesome. If you have a tank and you want something to clean the bottom of your tank, these little guys are perfect for that, but they also end up getting to a decent size. Okay, so these are the same as on the chapter one, the silver dollars, the black bar silver dollars with a lot of red. They're more of the rare type. And I have that big pair in the back, but it's not for sale. So they're eating tilapia. Yep. Let's let them be and then move it over. Okay, so this is the hyphen loaches that we have left. And they, are, they love the pellets, but I'm sure they're gonna like this stuff too. Who wouldn't like this? Look how delicious this looks. They might be slower to come to the food, yeah. Let's do this, let's feed this guy right here behind us and then we'll watch, we'll come back and see them eat. Oh, one little guy is smart. Ready? All right, so this is this is my grow out tank. This is, The Luteus are for sale, they're on the website, but everything else is not. These guys are for sale as well. And then a friend of mine just gave me that big ornate. Look how big that ornate bite chair is. So let me go ahead and throw the food. Look at the arowana. Such a beautiful animal. I think from this whole group, the Dorado is probably the last one to eat. So I like to put food on both sides, the left and the right, just so he doesn't get, you know, spooky. Oh, damn. I just got tilapia on my face. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, he's eating now. Good. I love that fish, man. Look at the white tiger shovel nose, babe. He's putting on some size, too. Look how beautiful that is. And then, where is the, oh, the golden whales is all the way on the other side. Look, go back, go back, go back. Run, run, run. Right here, right here. He's looking, he's smelling the food. He's gonna come up. There he is. Crazy, right? Look how big he is already. It's like a trash can. Who eat anything? Guys, this monster is for sale. If you wanna start jumping into challenge and growing your own monster, this dude is available. That's the last one that we have for sale. 
It's about, I'll say 24, 26 inches. And I think that, oh, we have the, we have two more fish to show you, but they're probably not gonna eat this. So let's go ahead and feed them. Ryan, we're almost done. We're almost done, we're almost done. Let's go, come on, babe. So these are the diamond sturgeons. I like to feed them little sinking pallets. And there they come, watch. So guys, if you're buying a sturgeon, make sure that your tank water is not above 78, and make sure you have a lot of oxygen in that tank. Like you see, look at the, the amount of oxygen we got going on in there. We also have more albinos, but they're coming in this weekend. We got some albino silfin plecos here. And then we're gonna finalize this video with these monsters, but they're only eating live, so I have to get some live feeders for them. So because they just came in not long ago, I'm feeding them live. I wanna get them full, strong and healthy and fat before I can start trying to uh, feed them frozen. As you can see, they're still a little shy, but little by little they're coming and they'll start getting all this food. Oh, oh, you see how they were able to attack the food? Really awesome predators. Let's let them be, shut the light off, and uh, in two seconds that's gonna be out. So let's go ahead and finish this video feeding this tilapia left to, what do you want to do, the salt water or the 3,000? Let's do some, let's do a little bit. Let's do a little bit here. And we got to do it fast because Ryan's starting to lose it. And let's go this side, this side, this side. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah! Ooh, they don't want to just attack. Okay. Look at fella. Fella's like, where is my food? Alright guys, we're gonna have to take Big Boy home. Thanks for watching. We try to do this for you guys, but it's very difficult when you have a big baby here, a big baby there, a big baby in front of the screen. Oh, no, that didn't work. I'll see you guys next time.